Hey guys, and welcome back to the second installation of the Umverse video series. I'm Chelsea. I will be coming to you guys each week with a video, um, talking about different topics and ways that you can continue to be college ready. Before we jump into the video, I just want to remind all of you, if you are interested in watching this video, along with a ton of other Umverse videos that we have, be sure to subscribe to our Umverse page. The subscription button should be down here at the bottom somewhere so be sure to click on that and subscribe to our page you can see more of the um, summer video series you can watch some summer melt videos that we're going to be posting and you can also watch some google hangouts that we've done in the past as well as some of our um first videos so definitely be sure to subscribe and to check that out so in this video we'll be talking a little bit about the um first student experience you're probably like what is that it's super 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 fun concept so as you know um, first.org is an online community that allows first-gen students and aspiring first-gen students to kind of connect and communicate. Um, and as an aspiring first-generation student, you can create a student profile and begin searching through all of our college partners that do great work in supporting first-gen, but you'll also be able to learn about the college application process. And you're probably saying, okay, Chelsea, there are like 15,000 other websites that do that. And you're right, there are a ton of other websites that do that. But what's crazy unique about um first is that we have college partners that have specific programs that will help you um, succeed as a first-gen student. And this isn't really information that you can find on other websites. So it's super, super important and super crucial that you, as a student, sign up and create your um first student profile. You're able to connect with our colleges and universities, not just by looking at their profile, but what you can also do is connect with them directly um, so it's sort of like sort of like a DM in a way you know how you have direct messages on Twitter and Instagram well on I'm first what you're able to do is once you create your student profile which I strongly encourage you to do uh, say for instance you're going through the colleges and you're like hmm I looked at Emory's profile kind of in love with Emory so what you're able to do, um, there will be a button that says I'm interested and you can click on the I'm interested button and it sends your student profile directly to Emory, directly to our contact at Emory. So it doesn't go floating in some random info at Emory email address. It goes directly to our contacts at Emory and they'll be able to connect with you. So that's what's really, really unique about the I'm um, first student search process. So again, think of it as a as a Twitter or Instagram DM where you're able to direct message a particular college or university. So definitely encourage you to do that. But also on imfirst.org, um, you can do a crap ton of things. There are so many different things that you can do. You can read our student blogs, and these are blog posts from first generation students who have won the I'm um, first scholarship. And these students are from all across the country and they're going to schools all across the country and every one of them has a different experience and they write about it each month so say you're a senior and you're like yo I'm kind of kind of freaking out I don't know what it's going to be like socially on campus you're able to read blog posts from students who've talked about that um, having to acclimate to the social life on campus and what it was like some of the things that freaked them out some of the things that helped them so really getting a sense of what you're what you're about to jump into just come to imfirst.org and you're able to read blog posts about that. Or say for instance, you know, you were always getting A's in school and you got that one C in your first class as a freshman in college and you don't know what to do. You're like, I'm leaving school, I'm not staying here, I'm freaking out, I've never gotten a C before. On imfirst.org, you're able to read stories from students who dealt with the same exact thing. And not only are you able to read their stories, you're also able to read sort of their solutions or re resolutions to those problems. So our students talk about, yeah, you know, I got my first C, wasn't too jazzed about that, but what I did was I got a tutor or, you know, I wasn't sure about making friends. I just joined, you know, a club that was in my dorm and I made a ton of friends. So really understanding, um, you know, that coming to I'm first and reading the blog posts will definitely help you not with just prepping for college but once you're even in college uh, getting a sense of sort of some some of the, the obstacles or the different situations you'll face and being able to read some solutions from students that have already been in your shoes or are currently in your shoes now as first-gen students so we definitely encourage you to check that out and not only can you read blog posts not only can you search 
uh, our different colleges and universities, you're also able to check out some of our Twitter chats and some of our um, Google Hangouts. And the, this is where we connect with you guys, uh, sort of in the social media world. So each month we'll do something different. Um, we'll have a different topic on Twitter chats and Google Hangouts. So we definitely encourage you to come on and check out those videos. So say for instance, it's January and, and all we're gonna talk about is financial aid because that's a really big deal. Just log on to your unfirst.org profile and you're able to catch up on the Twitter chat that we talked that we had when we were talking about financial aid. So you're able to follow the hashtag first gen office hour. You don't even have to wait until January to do that. You can do it right now as you're watching this video. Um, just look at the first gen office hour hashtag and you'll be able to check out all of our Twitter chats and get a sense of who's talking about what, some of the information that people shared. But also in our Google Hangouts, we archive all of our videos on our website. So again, we're trying to meet you guys where you are. So we know everyone's on YouTube. Everyone's like making 15 second Instagram videos, making six second Vine videos. So we're meeting you where you are. We definitely want you to get involved in whatever way possible. We want you to use some of your summertime to get some of these things done, even if you want to peruse on umverse.org on your phone or on your tablet, definitely feel free to do that and take some time out to, again, search for our colleges and universities that have specific programs for you. Read some of the blog posts from students about their experiences of being first gen. Check out some of our Twitter chats and check out some of our Google Hangouts where you can learn a ton about the college application process, but also learning about, you know, once you're on campus, sort of now what. So definitely, again, create your umverse student user account and begin you know perusing the student experience we want to make it as cool and as fun and, and as resourceful as we possibly can so that is it for um, sort of a brief overview of the student experience so definitely be on the lookout for another video from the um first summer series next week and uh in the meantime feel free again to sign up for um first um but not only sign up on um first but follow us on social media again we we meet you guys where you are so we're on facebook we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Be sure to shout us out, tag us, tweet us, do whatever it is that you want. Uh, we're more than happy to hear from you and we'll definitely get back to you. So in the meantime, you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye.